Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 year-end commencement exercises of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Processional The Deans of Colleges and Institute College of Accountancy and Finance College of Architecture, Design and Built Environment College of Arts and Letters College of Business Administration College of Communication College of Computer and Information Sciences College of Education College of Engineering College of Human Kinetics College of Political Science and Public Administration College of Social Sciences and Development College of Science College of Tourism, Hospitality and Transportation Management Institute of Technology Graduate School Open University System The Vice Presidents Vice President for Branches and Campuses Professor Pascualito B. Gatan Vice President for Finance Ms. Marisa J. Ligaspi Vice President for Administration Mr. Adam V. Ramilo Vice President for Student Affairs and Services Dr. Sinaida R. Sarmiento Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning and Development Dr. Ana Ruby P. Gapasin Vice President for Academic Affairs Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman Executive Vice President Prof. Alberto C. Gilio Members of the Board of Regents Honorable Romel S. Gonzaga Honorable Jerilyn L. Pilar Honorable Ramir M. Cruz Honorable Antonio C. Moncupa Jr. Honorable Danilo L. Bello Honorable Jose B. Patalinhug III Honorable Rowena M. Dalusong Honorable Mark Go, represented by Honorable Ron P. Salo Honorable Emmanuel Jose Joel Villanueva Honorable Ronald L. Adamat Chairperson, PUP Board of Regents and Commissioner, Commission on Higher Education Associate Professor Rolando M. Covero Jr., University and Board Secretary, carrying the maze of the University Dr. Manuel M. Buhi, PUP President Mr. Jonathan Batangan, First Vice President and Group Head PJ Lulier, Group of Companies, Commencement Speaker Doxology Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder Consider all the works Thy hands have made I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder Thy power throughout the universe displayed then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Kailanman ikaw ang iibigin ko Kailanman ikaw ang sasambahin ko Ikaw ang aking Diyos Walang iba kundi ikaw Aking 
Panginoon sa kawalang hanggan kailanman ikaw ang pupurihin ko kailanman ipataas dakilang alan mo sa buhay ko ihahayag ang kapurihan mo kailanman o oh Diyos ako'y sa'yo then sings my soul my Savior God to thee How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Kailan man ikaw ang i Ibigin ko kailan man itataas dakilang alan mo sa buhay ko ihahayag ang kapurihan mo kailan man o oh Dios kailan man o oh Dios. Kailanman, O Diyos, ako'y sa'yo. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. The Philippine National Anthem Presentation of candidates for graduation. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the 2021 year end graduation from the different colleges, the graduate school, and the open university system. The graduation of these candidates was approved by the University Academic Council and confirmed by the Board of Regents. Confirmment of degrees by University President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Charter of the University and the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, and privileges, as well as the obligations and responsibilities hereunto appertaining. Awarding of Plaque of Appreciation to the Commencement Speaker as Outstanding Alumnus. Our awardee is a scholar ng bayan who realized early the importance of hard work, diligence, and determination at an early age. He believes that uh, success is the result of one's conscientiousness, love of learning, and discipline. He is a PUP graduate of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology a consistent academic scholar, a former president of PUP Central Student Council, 
and a former associate editor of PUP's official student publication, The Catalyst. He began his career as an account executive and rose to the ranks to become assistant vice president for Malayan Insurance Company, the Philippines' largest non-life insurance company, first vice president and group head of the PJ Luwilier Group of Companies, and executive director of the Cebuana Luwilier Foundation, the Philippines' largest financial institution. As the executive director for the Cebuana Luwilier Foundation, he ably supported and launched more than 100 alternative learning schools nationwide, benefiting over 50,000 learners in partnership with the Department of Education. He spearheaded the conferment of scholarship grants to more than 300 scholars under the Cebuana Luwilier's nationwide scholarship program with 60 current scholars from PUP. He facilitated the distribution of thousands of COVID-19 rapid test kits to various government agencies, organizations, hospitals, and local governments in Metro Manila. He led outreach programs with various institutions for the less fortunate and underprivileged such as the Pediatric Cancer Ward patients of the Philippine General Hospital, the Abused and Abandoned Children of the DSWD Deception and Study Center for Children, and the elderly from the Golden Acres or Golden Reception and Action Center for the Elderly and Other Special Cases. These programs also assisted eight community pantries during the Metro Manila lockdowns and facilitated the donation of resources for the establishment of the PUP e-learning center in the PUP main library as well as the transfer of legal books to the PUP College of Law. Our awardee has more than 25 years of experience in the Philippine insurance sector and he has been crucial in, in expanding inclusive insurance in the country and the PJLI group of companies, which has provided coverage to more than 10 million Filipinos since its inception. He also serves as a regular resource person and delegate at various local and international conferences and fora on inclusive insurance catastrophe risk finance and management, and other topics throughout Europe, the Americas, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. Apart from being a finance expert, his other interests include being a meditation teacher and an advocate for vegetarianism for 20 years. His grit and expertise in his field is truly a remarkable trait of an scholar ng bayan. On this 24th of September, on the occasion of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines Academic Year 2020-2021 Year-End Commencement Exercises, the University hereby declares and confers upon Honorable Jonathan Batangan, Executive Director, Cebuana Luwilier Foundation, the Outstanding Alumnus Award. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Unang-una, ako ay nagpapasalamat sa ating butihing PUP President Dr. Manuel Muhi at ng Executive Committee na kasama natin ngayon for the invitation and opportunity to be your commencement speaker. Nang mabasa ko ang imbitasyon ni President Muhi, biglang bumalik sa aking alaala more than 25 years ago ang pagkakataong ako ay nasa balkonahe sa ikalawang palapag ng Unyon ng Mag-aaral, ilang araw ito bago ako tuloy ang bumaba bilang Pangulo ng Central Student Council makapagtapos sa aking kurso at harapin ang tunay na buhay sa labas ng PUP. Pag-aagaw dilim noon at natatandaan ko na ang araw na iyon ay Sabado at halos wala ng tao sa bahaging iyon ng campus. Sa aking pag-iisa, nawari ko ang mga tanong na ito sa aking sarili. Paano na ako paglabas ng universidad? Ano ang aking magiging buhay matapos ang napakaaktibong involvement sa kolehiyo at sa konseho? Anong mga opportunities o kaya'y challenges ang naghihintay sa akin? Kung sa panahong iyon ay lubhang napagabag na ako sa aking magiging buhay, sa hinaharap, considering the ordinary conditions during those times, 
Paano na kaya ang mga katulad ninyong magsisipagtapos na haharap sa panibagong pagsubok ng buhay pagkatapos ng graduation ceremony na ito? Hindi natin may pagkakaila ang mga takbo ng pangyayari sa kasalukuyan. As many would have put it, we are living in unprecedented times because of COVID-19 pandemic. Kayong mga magsisipagtapos ay napabilang sa dalawang bilyong learners worldwide at dalawang putwalong milyong estudyante sa ating bansa na naapektuhan ng pandemiko. Na halos kalahati ng inyong termino sa kolehiyo ay naapektuhan ng lockdown at ng social distancing na ipinapatupad para hindi na lalo pang lumaganap ang health crisis na ito. Marahil, mayroon kayong kamag-anak o kakilala na natanggal sa trabaho sa kadahilan ng ang kanilang kumpanya ay nagsara dulot na rin ang kawalan ng kita o kaya'y kakilala na kasalukuyang nakikipaglaban sa COVID-19 kung hindi man binawian na ng buhay. Sa halip na mapawi natin ang pandemiko ay lalo pa itong lumalaganap dahil sa mas mabalasik na variants nito tulad ng Delta na siyang ikinatatakot ng lahat. Para sa marami sa atin, These are times of turmoil and stress. These are the times of uncertainty and anxiety. While these are difficult times, if there is a silver lining that this pandemic has at all brought us Filipinos, more than ever, it is the sense of our collective resilience and resolve that has made us survive these challenges. To you, our graduating class of 2021, It is your willpower to survive the long hours or even days of being in solitude, of being alone, maybe locked down in the cramped space having to endure loneliness or boredom, pressure or stress, or maybe even hunger in these past 18 months. We don't know when this will end, but these experiences have certainly made you a better person. Indeed, Kaya pala ninyong masurvive ang kolehiyo kahit nasa gitna kayo ng unos na dulot ng pandemiko. You may not know it, but you are the greatest graduating class that PUP has probably had given your resilience and adaptability for surviving the pandemic. You are what we may call as the fittest warriors, the creme de la creme, and by being so, You simply have demonstrated credence to Charles Darwin's most famous maxim in his book, Survival of the Species, and I quote, It is not the strongest nor the most intelligent that survives, but the most adaptive and responsive to change. You were able to successfully set your sails and navigate your academic life despite the raging storm. Each of you graduates may be likened to a precious diamond. And how are diamonds created? In a natural process, by overcoming harsh environment and the test of time, a diamond can only be polished by applying the most intense heat and pressure. Ang inyong mga pinagdaanan ay siyang nagpatatag sa inyo upang makarating sa kung saan kayo naroroon ngayon You are all capable of taking on any obstacle or challenge due to the most difficult phase in your lives. You have all faced a very challenging experience that has never happened before in contemporary era and you overcame it and made it worthwhile. And to all of you being with us today, joining this unique graduation rites using your laptop, or PC, or mobile phone, in the comfort of your home, or wherever, is itself a celebration of that greatness and enduring power for ably surviving college, making it to this special occasion in the midst of the worsening pandemic. PUP is certainly proud of you. We are all very proud of you, and you should even be prouder of your achievements. Ang tema natin sa pagtatapos na ito ay magmalasakit at maglingkod mula sa iyo para sa bayan. Totoong dapat ay magtulungan tayo, lalo na yung mayroon ng kakayahang makatulong. 
nararapat lamang na suklian natin ang ipinagkaloob ng ating sintang paralan, isang dekalidad na edukasyon na nagbigay sa atin ng karunungan at ng karangalan. Para sa akin, nararapat na siguraduhin na tayo ay nasa maayos na katayuan upang makatulong ng makabuluhan. Palakasin natin ang ating sarili, ilagay sa tamang estado upang mas long term at strategic ang magagawa nating pagtulong. Hindi ito nangangahulugan na ipagkakait natin ang ating sarili sa mga maliliit na oportunidad para makatulong lamang. Katulad din ng anunsyo sa eroplano bago ito mag-take off, kapag nagkulang ang oxygen sa loob ng eroplano sa anumang dahilan at kung gusto mong makatulong sa kapwa pasahero, hindi ba kailangan ikaw muna ang may oxygen mask at nailapat na mabuti ito sa iyong mukha nang sa gayon ay nakahanda ka sa anumang insidente at may isa katuparan ang pagtulong sa iba. Maituturing na nasuklian na natin ang PUP kapag naisaayos na natin ang ating buhay at kasama tayo sa nation building bilang mga produktibo at responsabling mamamayan. Ito na marahil ang pinakapayak o basic na pagtulong natin sa sintang paaralan at para sa bayan. To the graduating class of 2021, life after college may be a huge unknown and can be a very overwhelming or even frustrating but with the right attitude, you can make it through this uncertain times. No matter how hard things may be in the moment, learning does not end after college. In fact, learning itself is a lifelong process. Let me give you three life tips or what I call as life hacks which have guided me throughout the years. First, hope for the best but prepare for the worst. We don't know what will happen in the future because of the current dispensation. Always have plan B because things may not always turn out according to your plan. Do what you want to do now and grab all the opportunities that come your way, especially in job hunting. Use your intuition and discern very well in selecting options. Second, meditate to empower yourself. Psychologists say that there are 50 to 60,000 thoughts a day and 90% of these thoughts are negative. Meditation is a good way to control negative thoughts which are the roots of negative feelings and emotions. It will give you discipline and bring you untold benefits. The pandemic has increased level of depression, anxiety, and stress. Meditation brings resilience and mental agility. This is self-mastery. Third, be your own happiness and give more kindness. Happiness is an inside job. And it is a choice because no one can make you unhappy without your consent. We don't see things as they are, but as we are. And when we change the way we see things, the things we see change. Given the pandemic, everyone is battling something inside we don't know anything about. We can help by being kind to people first. Nabanggit ko po sa simula na bago ako umalis sa PUP ay nagkaroon ako ng mga pagbumuni-muni sa balkonahe ng Union ng Mag-aaral. Nagkaroon po ako ng pagkakataon na makarating muli sa balkonaheng iyon matapos kong bisitahin ng PUP e-learning center na naging donasyon ng aming foundation sa ating sintang paaralan. Marami ng beses naman akong nakabalik para bisitahin ng PUP pero hindi ako nagkaroon ng pagkakataon na balikan ng masintimyentong balkonahing iyon except ng araw na iyon nga. At sa pagkakataon iyon, parang nagkaroon ako ng full circle sa aking involvement sa PUP bilang dating mag-aaral at leader estudyante at ngayon nga ay isa ng profesional na hinubog ng makamasa at progresibong edukasyon ng PUP. Masarap palang balikan ng PUP lalo na kung nagiging instrumento tayo para siya itulungan. Sumagi sa aking isipan ang mga magagandang alaalang muli sa konseho, kasama ang aming butihin at nirerespetong adviser noon na ngayon nga 
ay siya ng Pangulo ng ating Universidad. Si Dr. Manuel Muhi na sa mga susunod na araw ay formal na maitatalaga bilang PUB President sa pamamagitan ng kanyang investiture. Pagpupugay at more power sa iyo, President Muhi. We are living in such critical and unprecedented times. But we're also living in the best of times. And in fact, we are now at the greatest period of human history. Destiny calls out to bring the light out of the darkness. And we are now at the cusp of a great transition ahead. To those who know the importance of this time, we are now in the so-called confluence age. The confluence of the old and new where the impossible becomes possible. Kaya kapit lang, laban lang sa anumang unos, gawin nating masaya ang biyahe ng ating buhay. Marami pong salamat at mabuhay ang natatanging graduating class ng 2021. Awarding of medals and distribution of diplomas to honor graduates. Distribution of Diplomas
the benedictory address to be delivered by Miss Angeline Joy M. Lim, Magna Cum Laude. To our commencement speaker, Mr. Jonathan Batangan, to the members of the PUP Board of Regents, to our University President, Dr. Manuel M. Mugi, to our Vice Presidents, Deans, Directors, Chairpersons, Faculty Members, and Administrative Officials, to our Parents and Guardians, and most importantly, to the heart of this celebration, my fellow Batch 2021 graduates, a pleasant day to all of you. My fellow PUPians, many of us consider this day as a very important milestone in our lives because we finally get to reap the fruits of our hard work. This is the day when all our efforts and sacrifices finally pay off. So us, matapos ang apat na taon nating ginugol sa pag-aaral sa sitang paaralan, tayo ngayon ay Hashtag Certified PUP Graduate na. Indeed, this is a time to rejoice and celebrate our victory with our loved ones and bask in the glory of our achievements. But we cannot deny the fact that no matter how much pride and joy we feel today, there is still a shroud of uncertainty in our minds and feelings of frustration and sadness in our hearts because of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The many lives it has claimed and how it has changed our lives so drastically in just a year. As students, we were forced to shift to a new mode of learning in a short span of time and adjust to the new normal while coping with the demands of our studies and our responsibilities at home. Many of us struggled with our mental health as some of us experience losing a loved one, some experience distress because their parents lost their jobs and livelihood. Some became anxious and felt hopeless because of the lack of resources they needed to continue with their studies. Even though much has been said and done about it, the pandemic is still a reality that many of us Filipinos struggle with. I actually never imagined that I would spend the last year of my college life at home, mostly in front of my computer, attending classes via Zoom or Google Meet. I was not prepared for what I can call the most challenging semesters of my college life. God knows how, how many times I have cried while struggling to finish a requirement to meet the deadline. <clears throat> I thought I would not make it. But here I am speaking to you as a representative of our batch. Here we are. We survived. Mga kapwa ko, scholar ng bayan. Kapwa ko, PUPian. Binabati ko kayo. Nagtagumpay tayo. Whether we graduated on time or not, congratulations, we all did well. We are all here because we have endured the process. We have taken all the invalidations some have thrown us. We accepted that life isn't fair. We embraced all our weaknesses. And in the process, we discovered our strengths. Therefore, let us thank our Sintang Paaralan for equipping us and honing us to become competent and hardworking individuals. PUP opened our eyes to different realities in life. It taught us to think critically. It taught us to check our privileges and to stand for what is right. We learned to value things we actually never valued before. We learned to embrace people with different points of view different attitude, and different culture. Above all, PUP honed us to become better members of society. Now let us thank our teachers who selflessly shared with us their expertise and experience. Let us thank them for equipping us with knowledge, skills, and values we need in our future professions. 
for their guidance and enlightenment, and for their discipline and understanding. Thank you, our dear teachers. Let us also thank our classmates and friends who supported us, encouraged us, and joined us in our sleepless nights, exhausting days, fun days, and even success. Let us also offer this moment to our parents whose unparalleled love, sacrifice, and encouragement made our college life much more bearable. I would also like to express my eternal gratitude to Mrs. Atina Buenaventura for encouraging me to study again and for the continuous support she has offered up until to this day. Of course, I won't forget to mention my nanay. Thank you for not giving up on me when everyone already did. For the unconditional love, for everything, Thank you, Nanay. Most importantly, let us thank our Almighty God who gave us strength and wisdom to conquer everything along our way. Salamat, Lord, at hindi mo kami pinababayaan. Totoo nga na nagtagumpay tayo sa hamon ng sintang paaralan. Ngunit ang tunay na laban ay mag-uumpisa pa lamang. Sapagkat sa labas na ating pamantasan, Marami pa rin tayo mga kababayan nulubog sa kahirapan at nakararanas ng pang-abuso sa kanilang karapatang pantao. Then what can we do as graduates of PUP to help our country? First, let us use our education to serve our countrymen. No matter what job we will have in the future, no matter how much salary we will receive, let us always remember to perform our duties and responsibilities in the service of the Filipino people. Gamitin natin ang dunong at talino natin upang tulungan ang kapwa natin na guminhawa ang buhay at isulong ang kanilang karapatang pantao. Second, let us use our voice to speak truth to power. Let us call out injustice, corruption, abuse, and incompetence, and demand for accountability and genuine reform from the government. Let us so advocate for transparency and equality. Ang ambag natin ay ang ating pakikisangkot sa mga issue na nakaaapekto sa ating mga kababayang nasa laylayan at pakikiisa sa panawagan para sa tunay na pagbabago. Finally, let us use our vote to elect the right leaders who will advance to the greater good of the Filipino people. Now, more than ever, is the time when our choice matters, my fellow graduates. This is the time when our vote can be a political force that can help change the fate of our nation. Mga kapwa ko, scholar ng bayan. Huwag nating sayahin ang pagkakataon upang mailuklok ang mga leader na tunay na magmamalasakit, magtatanggol at pangangalaga sa ating kapakanan at karapatan. Let us not just vote wisely but vote desperately as if our lives and our future children's lives depended on it. Huwag nating hayaan na mga susunod na henerasyon ay matulad sa atin. Bilang mga scholar ng bayan, ang dakilang layunin ng bawat isa sa atin ay ang gamitin ang kanilang karunungan mula sa ating sintang paaralan para sa ating bayan. Ang gamitin ang ating boses upang makiisa sa panawagan para sa pagbabago at iboto ang mga lead, ang mga leader na karapat dapat. Ito ang kaganapan ng ating pagiging PUPian ang mas magpapanini sa PUP bilang tanglaw ng bayan. Mga kapwa ko iskolar ng bayan, lalabas tayo sa sintang paaralan na taglay hindi lamang ang galing at duno. Tayo ay hahayo din na bitbit ang isang misyon na hindi lamang para sa ating mga sarili, kundi para sa ating komunidad. Sana ay lagi natin itong isa puso, isa isip at isa pamuhay. Hindi man tayo magkakasama ngayon dahil sa pandemya, balang araw ay magkikita-kita rin tayo. At sa araw na iyon, alam natin na higit sa ano paman, ang nagbubuklad sa atin ay ang ating pagmahamahal sa ating bansa at ang pag-asang lagi may bagong umagang darating. 
Again, congratulations, Batch 2021. Ako si Angeline Joyen Lim, kabataang Pilipino, butante at isang proud pup -ian. The Pledge of Loyalty to be led by Honorable Regent Jean Paul Martires. Itaas ang kalang kamay at uliti ng aking mga sasabihin. Ako si, Ako si, si Angelito, Angelito Fernando na nagtapos ng kursong na nagtapos ng kurso Bachelor in Physical Education ay buong pusong nanunumpa ay buong pusong nanunumpa na magiging tapat na magiging tapat sa lahat ng panahon sa lahat ng panahon sa mga adikain sa mga adikain panuntunan panuntunan at prinsipyo ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. At, at prinsipyo ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ang aking sintang paralan. Ang aking sintang paralan. At sa organisasyon ng mga alumni. At sa organisasyon ng mga alumni. Na kumakatawan dito. Na kumakatawan dito. Ako ay nangangako. Ako ay nangangako. Na pagyayamanin ko. Na pagyayamanin ko. Ang aking napiling profesyon. Ang aking napiling profesyon. Na may paggalang. Na may paggalang. Sa mga alituntunin. Sa mga alituntunin. Ng universidad at sa mga batas ng Pilipinas. Sa mga universidad at sa batas ng Pilipinas. Hindi ako gagawa Hindi ako gagawa ng anumang bagay na ikasasama ng anumang bagay na ikasasama ng kanyang pangalan bagkus ay aking itataguyod ang kanyang pangalan lalong ikahuhusay at ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan at ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan. Bilang iskolar ng bayan, bilang iskolar ng bayan, na kumikilala sa estado sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral. Kumikilala sa estado sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral. Inaalay ko ang aking buhay. Inaalay ko ang aking buhay. Husay at talino. Husay at talino. Bilang kapaki-pakinabang Bilang kapaki-pakinabang Na maumaya ng Pilipinas Na maumaya ng Pilipinas Ako ay maglilingkod Ako ay maglilingkod Sa aking kapwa-tao Sa aking kapwa-tao Para sa ikaunlad ng aking bayan Para sa ikaunlad ng aking bayan Ipinapangako ko Ipinapangako ko Na maging matapat Na maging matapat At malaya ang susuporta at malayang susuporta sa mga adikain at programa ng mga asasyon ng alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Sa mga adikain at programa ng asasyon ng mga alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Lahat ng ito ay aking tutup din ng walang anumang pasubali o pag-aalinlangan. Kasihan na wat ako ng may kapal. Mabuhay ang mga bagong nagsipagtapos. The PUP HIM
Maganda at mapagpalang araw po. Isang karangalan ang makasama kayo ngayong araw na ito sa atin pong hinahangaang Pangulo ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Dr. Manuel Muhi. Mga opisyal, mga dekano, mga profesor, mga kawani ng ating pamantasan, mga iskolar ng bayan, mga magsisipagtapos. Muli mapagpalang araw po. Laman po ng mga diskurso sa social media at virtual meetings kung alin ang mas mahalaga sa gitna ng pandemya ang kalusugan o ang pagpapatuloy ng edukasyon ng ating mga kabataan. Batid po naming matagal nang nakikiisa sa mga panawagan para sa academic ease ang ating mga scholar ng bayan dito sa PUP. Kaugnay po ito ng katotohanan ng hindi madali ang new normal. Maaring paulit-ulit pa rin ang tanong sa isipan ng ilang estudyante, mga magulang at guro. Is higher education worth it at time of a pandemic? Bilang hepe ng Labor Committee at Higher Education Committee dito sa Senado, klaro po sa atin, kailangan ng edukasyon sa pagbangon. Subalit kailangan pangalagaan din ang kalusugan ng lahat. Kabilang na po ang mental health ng ating mga guro at mga estudyante. Bilang mga scholar, batid nyo po na tungkulin ng Estado na tiyakin na hindi po kayo madedehado sa sistema ng edukasyon ngayon. Aaminin ko po na malaking hamon ito sa parehong sangay ng ihukatibo at lehislatura ng gobyerno. Pero ang totoo, mas mabigat ang hamon ng krisis na ito sa bawat isa sa inyo. Kailangan po kasi na mas magmadali kayo para matutunan ang maraming mga bagay, makahanap ng oportunidad sa mga disruptions at makasabay sa mga pagbabago. Huwag po kayong matakot. Lahat ng kailangan nyo para magtagumpay ay alam kong nasa inyo na. Isip, puso at talino. Bilang inyong empleyado dito sa Senado, umaksyon po tayo para tiyaking masuportahan kayo ng pamahalaan. Bilang inyong kapwa PUP yan, isinulong po natin ang pondo para sa mga smart campuses. Inaksyonan po natin na maisama sa listahan ang mga essential workers, kagaya ng ating mga guro at kawani ng ating mga pamantasan. Isinabatas na rin po natin ang Doktor Para sa Bayan Act para sa mga gustong mag-aral ng medisina at maglingkod sa mga pampublikong ospital. Kapwa ako PUP yan, kumahanga po ako sa inyo dahil sa inyong kritikal at pagkakaroon ng bukas na isipan sa mga nangyayari sa ating pamahalaan at lipunan. Dahil po dito, buo ang aming loob na handa na kayong pumalaot sa mundo. Hindi lang para tuparin ang inyong mga pangarap, kundi higit sa lahat, paglingkuran ang ating Diyos at bayan. Congratulations po at mabuhay ang mga scholar ng bayan. Maraming salamat at pagpalain po tayo ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Greetings of peace to one and all. To PUP President Dr. Bong Muhi, former President Manidi Guzman, Vice President Lito Gatan, to all the senior and junior officials of PUP, PUP graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor that I speak before you on this very memorable and significant occasion where we send our graduates from the portals of this great university, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. I feel proud and happy seeing all of you today, along with your parents, professors, and university officials, to celebrate your achievements amidst these challenging, extraordinary, and difficult times. We know that it was for you a long and exhausting but very rewarding journey. As chair of the PUP Governing Board and as commissioner of the Commission on Higher Education, I congratulate all of you, dear graduates, for managing to show flexibility, resiliency, adaptability, and perseverance all these times and for finishing your studies and achievements and your goal. We know that the COVID-19 pandemic made us all realize how fragile normality is, that in the blink of an eye, the whole world drastically changed. What we had previously not expected to happen had happened, and what we had taken for granted, dreaded, and feared become the new normal. Thankfully, you all survived. You all succeeded. You are now ready to step out of the portals of your alma mater. Academically quick, technologically trained, and morally inspired. I am confident that the next chapter of your lives as new members of the nation's workforce will be defined by the education you receive, the kind of education that is transformative, one 
that will empower you to see the world differently and through an ethical lens in order for you to be able to challenge the status quo as agents of change. This is what I mean when I said in one of my quotes that, and I quote myself, education must be grounded on values. Without education, without values, education will never amount to the upright transformation of the person, unquote. Yes, your values are more important than your knowledge, training, and expertise because they guide and motivate you how to use them in your professional life. Be of help always. Make yourselves available for nation building. Help and serve one another. Be creative. Learn to innovate. Adapt. This is the essence of your education. In a few moments, you will step out of the portals of this great university. Let me remind you not to forget always. Try to learn more about what the country needs. Know that the country needs people who will be agents of justice and peace. Know that the country needs people who will be agents of good governance and development. Know that the country needs people who will be agents of courage, hope, resilience, and perseverance, especially in these times of pandemic and great upheavals. Be, therefore, the agents of change. For what is education if you cannot use it to change the world? Just as what I said in my recent song composition entitled, Education Builds the Future. I quote, Education is everyone's concern that all people should acquire as a weapon to change the world, for us all to live in peace and in prosperity, unquote. Make your education a weapon that will wipe out evils of this world, make it flatten poverty, make it vaporize injustice, make it destroy indifferences, make it disappear, and peace. You graduate today, but be the person you dream to be. Remember, though, that dreams could happen not by hashtags alone, Twitter, or Facebook posts, but through perseverance, dedication, and action. So, go out into the world where your education is needed. Go into the world where your ideas could change peoples and communities. Go into the world where you could become vessels for truth, kindness, peace, and change. Hence, make every effort to nurture values and virtues while you can. You are perfectly the graduates that our country needs amidst these challenging and critical times. I encourage you to contribute to nation building, yet continuously learning, studying, and researching as you go out doing other things. As what the American writer George Sanders had said, and I quote, do all the other things, the ambitious, ambitious things, travel, get rich, get famous, innovate, lead, Fall in love, make and lose fortunes, swim naked in wild jungle river. But as you do, to the extent that you can, here in the direction of kindness. Unquote. Mabuhay ang ating mga PUP graduates. Congratulations and feel happy. Para sa class of 2021, isang mapagpalayang araw sa inyong lahat. Hayaan niyong simulan ko ang aking mensahe sa isang mainit na pagbati at pagpupugay sa mga magsisipagtapos ngayong araw na ito. Today, while the situation has somehow improved compared to March of 2020, things are obviously far from how they were before and would probably not go back to the old normal. I understand your frustration of missing a live graduation. Pero saludo ako sa inyo dahil napagtagumpayan ninyo ang mga hamon ng pandemia at naipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral sa kabila ng mga balakid at limitasyon. At ngayon ay mas handa na kayong harapin ang susunod na yugto ng inyong buhay. You and, un and your university were able to courageously respond to the needs of the times, move forward as one, and rise above the challenges. Now on the part of CHED, we acted quickly and conscientiously at the onset of the pandemic, 
and devised ways to allow continued access to quality education through flexible modes of learning. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we ensured that learning continued by adopting a policy of flexible learning. Sa aking pagpadyak sa iba't ibang pamantasan sa buong Pilipinas, ako'y nabigyan ng pagkakataon na makausap, makasama, at makahalubilo ang mga mag-aaral, guro at empleyado ng iba't ibang pamantasan at kolehiyo sa bansa. I heard stories of struggles in the midst of the pandemic. We recognize the diligence, patience, and hard work of both the administrators, the faculty, the staff, and most important, the students for not allowing the pandemic to ruin your dreams and aspirations. Last February 2021, nakilala ko ang magkapatid na parehong tertiary education subsidy grantees sa Tibiao, Antique. Sila ay si Maria at Remejo Escudero mula sa University of Antique. Ang kanilang ikinabubuhay ay magtinda ng balot at pagtama ng pandemya na walang sila ng kabuhayan. When they received their subsidy during the COVID-19 pandemic in May, pagkatapos nilang gastosin ang kanilang test sa mga pangangailangan nila sa pag-aaral, ginamit nila ang natitirang test upang makabangon ang kanilang negosyo at makakuha ng panggastos sa pang-araw-araw na pag-aaral. Last month, when I was in Cebu, I met Renami Nunez. Si Renami ay test beneficiary ng dalawang taon na. Ginamit niya ang kanyang unang test subsidy para kabitan ng kuryente ang kanilang bahay. Dahil naawa siya sa kanyang kapatid na nag-aaral sa dilim. Her second subsidy was used to buy her first cell phone in her life. And her third subsidy to buy a second-hand laptop for herself and her brother. She continues to study to better herself. She will be the first in her family to get a college education. A few weeks ago, during my bike ride, I met Catherine Ehe, who used her test subsidy para makapagpatayo ng sari-sari store at para ipagawa ang bubong ng kanilang bahay makatapos niyang bilhin ang pangangailangan niya for flexible learning. And soon, I hope to meet some of the test beneficiaries in your university. These stories of success from our scholars are the reason why this year we claim victory for free higher education. These stories are proof that the Duterte administration prioritizes free and quality education for our young people. It is also with pride and happiness that I share with you that even in the midst of the pandemic, more than 1.6 million Filipinos in more than 200 public universities now continue to receive quality higher education for free. Sa iba't ibang panig ng ating bansa, ay narinig ko na mga kwento ng tagumpay ng ating mga mag-aaral, lalong-lalo na ang mga nakakakuha ng test at tulong duno. 
From their success stories, we can already claim that free higher education under RA10931, the most important social legislation in the history of higher education, is a success. Overall, today, more than 2 million students are supported by the government amidst this global pandemic so that the students can continue receiving quality education and move closer towards the realization of their dreams. Their dreams to improve themselves and to improve the plight of their families. As we therefore celebrate your graduation today, we look back at the years of hard work and determination the unwavering commitment in your continuous quest for knowledge. Let your graduation remind you of the gains that you have achieved collectively and individually, and the constant push to do better and to better yourselves as you enter the world of work. As you leave the portals of your university, I am optimistic that you will become active contributors to national growth and the competitiveness of our country. You have been equipped with the necessary competencies anchored on the university's core values. And so you must use this to make your distinctive mark in society by transforming lives. Never stop learning and continue to pursue activities that will serve as precursors of discovery to ensure continuous productivity and sustainability for our future generations. Once again, Congratulations to the class of 2021. Mabuhay kayong lahat.